Hey, everybody. Are we up? We're up. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning. Today, we're talking about how to get better uh, at what you do. Stick around. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Just having a little chat there with our Instagram folks. Uh, look, if you are watching this morning, thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Be sure and uh, say hi and uh, down in the comments. Let me know that you're here. Name where you're watching from. All of those things are awesome. It always helps me to know that you are there. And if you have any questions, questions, comments, concerns, anything we're talking about this morning, be sure and leave those in the comments as well. That you might have seen there. That's my office assistant. She's patrolling this morning. All right. So today, as with most days, uh, our topic kind of comes, originates from a quote. Good morning, Jessica. Um, today, we're, the, the quote comes from one of my favorites, Jim Rohn. Don't wish it were easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish it were easier. Wish you were better. How many times have you gotten into a circumstance where you think, man, this is just so hard. Just one day, one day. I would like for things to go my way. I'm a, I, man, I wish she was here. My, my wife's already left uh, to, to go to the gym. But there was a circumstance, I don't know, several years ago. She, it, it's a long story. I won't tell you the whole story. But she made that comment one day out in the backyard while she was doing some yard work. And we wound up in the emergency room just a few minutes later. Why, man, why can't one thing go just go right for me? Wham. Okay, here, let me show you just how bad things can be. We get this thing, we get this idea in our head that things are supposed to be easy, right? And I talk all the time about simplification, simplify. My my friend Eric says simple makes awesome easy. Things can be simple, but that doesn't mean they're going to be easy. And even more importantly than that, we don't want everything to be easy. We lose the value of the prize if it is too easy. So when we run into these circumstances where we're thinking, man, why is, why is this so hard? Two things I want you to remember. One, it's hard. It's difficult. It's challenging because you will value the reward more greatly in the end. And number two, it's because there is an opportunity here for you to improve. Remember, an opportunity, by by definition, uh, an opportunity is a set of circumstances. And that set of circumstances can be presented to different people, and different people will respond, react to those circumstances differently. And how you respond to those circumstances tells me a lot about you. Right? We can see, I say all the time, that entrepreneurs... Entrepreneurs see opportunity where other people see obstacles, right? It's the same set of circumstances. Instead of seeing a roadblock, we see a stepping block, right? And and look, don't remember, do remember, <laughs> an entrepreneur, uh, you can be an employee and be an entrepreneur, right? So just if you don't own a business, you don't get a free pass on this one, right? So we have a set of circumstances in front of us that gives us an opportunity to improve if we choose to accept it. That's the key. And this is, this is the mindset part, um, of, of success and of getting better, right? Is that you have to see it as an opportunity to improve, not as a roadblock, an obstacle to prevent me from getting what I'm looking for. So, Lila says, why do we only value reward when we've struggled for it? Why should we not value work and our strengths and doing uh, what's easy for us that isn't easy for others? That is a fantastic question, Lila. And here, here's, I'll, I'll try to give you the answer here. We are each uniquely gifted, talented, and placed for a purpose. 
When we work in those gifts and leverage those talents, the work is easy for us because that's what we're gifted to do. And we've seen this. You see this play out over and over and over again, right? Where, I, I, I mean, I call my accountant gifted and talented and an artist because she does amazing work. When you are gifted in a particular way, the work is easy. And we have a tendency to be dismissive of the value. Uh, I just drew that. I just, I mean, how many times have you seen somebody with a great doodle? Hey, Keith, good morning. They, they've done like a great doodle. And you listen, wow, that's fantastic. I just, you know, I just did that while I was sitting here. It wasn't, it's no big deal to them, right? So we have this tendency to be dismissive of our own gifts and talents because it's easy, all right? So if we are aware enough, and this, Lila, I think is the key, if we are aware enough to realize that what we do is, is or can create value for other people, then we can leverage that. And the work that we do, remember, work is the net value that we leave behind. So the work that we do creates value and compensates us. Then that's a great combination. I just think it's tough for a lot of people to really, to really realize that, be self-aware of that. All right. And then it's hard to, it's hard to be brave sometimes, but it's easy for me to do my work. It's hard for me to trust that the work will always be there, but it's easy for me to speak to a crowd. I, well, and so that is exactly, that's exactly what I'm saying, right? In that, in that set of circumstances, and, and I've learned this about you in the, in the short amount of time we've known each other, it's easy for you to speak to the crowd. That's where you're gifted. But generating the work, finding the work, and then look, this is the case with a lot of people. That's the more difficult part. And so it's hard to trust. I look, I, last night I was asked to do a little, uh, a little TV spot for a, uh, a four year event that was going on here in town. Yeah, sure. No problem. Just hop up there, clip on, do the spot and be gone. I mean, there were other people were freaking out, leaving the room, didn't want to be. I mean, it, it that's just something that comes naturally and easily. If, if you're talking to a marketer, right? That comes naturally and easily to them. But here's the other thing. And, and, and this is how we overcome this. Confidence comes with experience. Experience comes from execution, right? So in order to gain the confidence and to not worry about the work not being there, we just have to continue to execute on the plan, right? And I, it's over by the big chair. I, I mean, I've got my daily plan written out. These are the check boxes. This is the marketing plan. I know it. I'm actually working through it to make sure it's good to hand off to somebody else. But we just have to execute in order to gain the confidence, in order um, to be comfortable in in the skin, what we're doing. Yep, yep, definitely. Uh, well, and see, so the, just to share with everyone, the work is the value that we leave behind. Yep, not the level of our struggle. And that's what a lot of people think. A lot of people mistake their their labor for work. And and where this plays out very often, let me see how I'm doing on time, way over, I'm sure. Uh, where this plays out a lot is we might go to work and sit in the office for eight, nine, or ten hours a day and then come home and labor in the yard and make a beautiful garden. And we've got those two things completely reversed. We're not creating, potentially, not creating any value when we are in the building of our employer and creating great value for ourselves and our neighbors by the the tasks that we do in the yard. So that yard work really becomes our work and the job is just our labor. Our work, remember this, your work should help you achieve your dreams, not just occupy your time. All right. All right. That's it for today. Thanks so much, everybody, for being here. Thanks for the questions, the comments, and the hey, how you doings. I always appreciate getting those. It's Thursday. Remember, Thursday is Thankful Thursday. Who are you thankful for today? Send them a note. Send them a text message. Give them a call. Let them know that you are thankful for them, as I am thankful for all of you being here. Tomorrow is Friday. 
That means it's free coaching Friday. If you have a question, a comment, or a topic that you would like to try and stump the coach with, you are welcome to give it a shot. I encourage those attempts. Uh, let's see. Final thing. Yeah. If you got value and only if you got value today, hearts, likes, thumbs up, uh, whatever's appropriate in the venue where you are watching, I would appreciate it. Otherwise, I will be back here again tomorrow. Hope you will join me then for another installment. Seven minutes in the morning. Talk to you then.